Hello guys, Mathemus right here, also known as Crystallized Entertainment, and this is something I really didn't want to talk about. So first let's take a little history lesson. Take notes as this will be on the final exam. So COPA, or the Children Privacy Protection Act, is an American act that the FTC put into place in 2000, but was first drafted up two years prior in 1998, and is pretty self-explanatory on its sole purpose. To protect the privacy of minors from 13 and under. This is why you're always asked if you're 14 or over when you create an account. Now this is all fine and dandy, but in September of this year, YouTube got fined a hefty $103 million in a settlement, as they infringed COPA on many occasions. And about two months later, this was brought to my attention in the new version that is coming in effect at the literal beginning of 2020. Let me read you some of my favourite passages in these guidance and what is kid directed that is so vague you think I were giving teasers for products that I will never see the light of day. <coughs> Whether the website uses visual content appealing to children, animated characters, bold or fashion graphics, or bright and vibrant colours. Ah yes, because, you know, I don't only like dull colours like it's Call of Duty 4. The whole idea that fast moving graphics, bright colours, or something remotely bold means it is only targeted at kids is just mind bogglingly stupid. Here's another one. Language of the website, such as language that is simple enough to understandable to children 12 and under. Short, colourful descriptions. Slang and culture phrases. For example, a kid's site may be identified by using language such as Kid only. Fun. Free stuff. Whatever. Cool. Duh. Games. Ask your parents. Etc. So, basically, what they're saying is that if someone who senses themselves, even outside of YouTube, says one of these things in a video to describe how I feel about something, like, this is so cool, means that I couldn't curb the wrath of the FTC. Basically, if you use the English language, you're boned. Audio content appealing to children. For example, simple or popular tunes or songs, cartoon voices, sound-like noises, and sound effects. I could go on and on with this. You can just see how vague and frankly out of touch these new guidelines are. And I haven't even said the best thing yet. If any of your videos infringe on these guidelines and they deem it for kids, or basically you just misappropriately flag your video as for kids or not for kids, then your sorry one will get settled with a fine up to $42,000 per video. I don't need to tell you that this for people who does this as a hobby, myself included, could potentially put us into debt for the rest of our sorry existences. Like, even if one of my videos gets hit with a maximum fine, I would need to sell everything I own, and it still will make a dent into it. It would devastate me for the rest of my life, since there's very few jobs that will pay me that money per year, and I certainly don't make that amount with universal credit. Now, disclaimer alert, I am not a lawyer, and what I say from this point onwards should not be taken as legal advice. YouTube has added a button to say if your overall channel, or your individual video, is for kids. If you mark your channel for kids, it's basically a death sentence for your channel. Comments will be disabled. Your videos will no longer be searchable, recommended, or subscribers won't be notified. If you have the privilege of having a community tab, that will be disabled, and if you monetize your content, they make 90% less per video. The FTC and YouTube wants people to consult a lawyer if you're unsure if your video is for kids. Because, you know, lawyers are so cheap and accessible that anyone can get one in a pinch. Let's put it this way. A lawyer is more expensive than my car insurance, which in itself I'm struggling to save up for as it is. So this entire thing is just Baffling. Now, I just want to make this clear. Despite what the FTC say about animations being kid friendly, and the fact that my stuff is a fan animation of a kid's show, my stuff is not aimed for kids, it has never been aimed for kids, and such that I have marked my channel as not for kids. Not like it really matters, because even if kids aren't the audience you weren't targeting, but are a secondary audience, you'll get fined. Also, a side note, in all my future videos, I will have a card saying that it's not for under 13 just to make it perfectly clear. I mean, Anthropology and Outbreak are clearly not for kids, because one will give you nightmares, 
and the other blatantly has blood in it. But because they are animations, the FTC with their vague guidelines could say otherwise and find me into oblivion. Everything else on my channel is more of a grey area and that is the most stressful thing about this entire ordeal. Because my animations don't have adult themes, they don't swear, isn't violent most of the time, or anything to those effects. The FTC could say they are for kids when I'm not targeting them whatsoever. Hasbin Hotel is boned as well because it is an animation but it still has clear adult themes and is not aimed for kids. But again, the guidelines would say otherwise. And that's not even the most confusing thing. As alluded to before, your content will not be searchable or recommended if it's marked for kids. But surely this means that kids will only see adult content. And thus have content that kids shouldn't watch in the first place. What's the point of making privacy on children a more important thing if the content they would consume is not for them to begin with? I say my only saving grace is the fact that all of my channels are so small the FC will not even look. Well I think that we have a variety of tools at our disposal to cull through those 23 million channels. Well, frack. Luckily though, there is some good news in this horrible mess. The FTC has graced us the ability to comment on what we think on the new COPA laws into the 9th of December. And even if you're not in the US, I would highly recommend you voice your thoughts on this. Normally, I wouldn't, but even I voice my thoughts on this in a form of a literal mini essay explaining why these laws aren't fit for purpose. There's also a petition that you can sign against COPA, which I would also recommend you take a gander at. Basically, just voice your thoughts on if you think COPA 2020 is good, or why it's bad as phase 2. Links in the description below for you to do all the things. Okay, I think I've gone on long enough now. I haven't even touched upon how the gun is also mentioned if you upload video game stuff. You know, like I have as the B-roll right now. Toys, and even miniature trains. Uh, seven a quarter inch gauge and the like. They are also kid directed because obviously don't want to play games that is 12 plus and only play 18 plus games. Heaven forbid them wanting to play lighter games. But yeah, this is bad and hopefully we can avert our imminent demise. Hopefully the next time I see you it won't be in the courtroom. Peace.